this section we're going to do a quick comparison of the difference between vector and bitmap graphics. A couple of things we we'll want to be aware of when we're working with vector and bitmap graphics, and we'll lay a foundation here for the difference between the two for those of you that may know a few things about the difference, but we'll clarify some things here just so that everybody understands as we move forward. I've actually got two different graphics here. I've got one bitmap, it's a text object, and then I've got another one the word vector and that is actually a test a text object and I'll right click and convert that to curves and it will become a vector object. The next thing I want to do is we'll just move these up here in the workspace so we can focus on just these two graphics for just a minute. Very simple graphics but we'll be able to get some understanding from looking at these and working with these. And I'm going to zoom in here. You can see that we've got this bitmap which is a CMYK and it's set up at 300 dpi. It looks pretty clean but if we zoom in really close we'll start to see some differences here. You can see the site of our R here in the vector object. I'll click on that and we can look in our status bar curve on layer 1. Perfectly smooth once again comprised here's a node and then we've got a line segment here as you can see. So this is a vector graphic comprised of lines and nodes. However this is, look at our status bar at the bottom, a bitmap 300 dpi and we can see that we've got some jagginess and some things breaking up here now if I go ahead and resample this and actually we'll, take, we'll bring our resolution down so we can see how resolution works I'm going to go to bitmaps I'll go to resample and I'm going to change this to 72 dpi and select OK and now look at our pixelation and this is what we call in the industry pixelation and we're talking about resolution relating to pixels with bitmaps. Now when we deal with vector objects they're often referred to as scalable vector graphics and the reason they're scalable is because no matter what size I change this vector object to it's going to stay smooth and clean. So look at I've made this much bigger but all of my lines are still smooth and perfectly clean. However if I rescale bitmap to the same size you'll see that we lose a lot of image quality as we go up. We get very jaggy in different shades. Now, I'm working with this graphic, and let's say I'm working on a design and I want to convert this to a bitmap object so that I can do some effects or something like that for some more work with it. Well, I'd want to convert this actually at 300 dpi, and we can look at the difference between this blown out 23 dpi scaled out bitmap and a bitmap converted at 300 dpi. So I'm going to bitmap, convert to bitmap, 300 dpi, CMYK, and select OK. You notice now my edges are much cleaner. Now, looking at the difference in resolution really depends on where it is that you convert to a bitmap and what resolution you have when you make that conversion. However, if I take this poor quality bitmap and I go to bitmap, convert to bitmap 300 dpi, it doesn't really make much of a difference, as you can see there, because you're working with pixels. And when you change size, I'll hit Control Z, all you're doing is changing the size of the pixels. Whereas these lines and nodes scale perfectly, they don't have pixels associated with them. Now, if we look at, I'm going to create a rectangle, a perfect square, so we can get an idea of exactly how this works. I'll make this exactly one inch by one inch. And I'll just go ahead and type these values in here. Now, if I bring this, and I'll put a red outline around this for contrast. And we take a look at this, we can see as we zoom in here, we've got about 23 pixels per inch here. Very low resolution, not something you want to print or output with. If I was working with this in a graphic, this would probably actually have to go ahead and set the text up and trace it with the text. If I didn't have the font, I'd probably have to trace it manually into vector. I come up here on 300 dpi. If I was printing the size, this would actually work. I could tweak this very quickly, but we'll take a look here and zoom in. Now we can see we've got about 300 pixels per one inch within our square or 300 dpi. So that's resolution and that's the difference between vector objects and bitmap objects as far as scalability is concerned or your resolution is concerned. We'll go ahead and end here and we'll continue in our next session.